only time that it is not absolutely imperative for you to be the brand. And when I say for you to be the brand, for your face, your image to be associated with the brand, the only time that that is not the most important thing that you need to do immediately is when everybody knows your name. If everybody knows your name, then that's perfectly fine. So when you think of a Tony Robbins, right? When you think of maybe a John Maxwell, most people know who these people are on a very deep level. So if they use their initials, it's fine because everybody knows who they are. But if you're trying to build a brand and nobody knows you, then it's very important that you be the brand and you do what we teach here, which is brand you as opposed to what you do. So a lot of so one thing that I'll see and I have seen a lot. And I used to suffer from at the same time was organizational identity, right? Organizational identity. And when you have an organizational identity, you want to be professional. You want to be uber professional and you want to identify as an organization. You're an LLC now, you're an S Corp now, you're a C Corp now. So that's fine. You want to identify as an organization or be professional and organizational. I get it. But you're building a personal brand at the same time. And you want to go from a personal brand to an organizational brand, but you have to be one first. It's so hard to build an organizational brand initially because what you're doing is you're putting yourself in direct correlation, which means direct competition with organizations that are well established and have huge budgets for promotion, huge budgets for marketing. So when you don't have that huge following, when you don't have that huge budget, your differentiation is your personal branding, your differentiation, and thus your power, your point of differentiation. What makes you different is your likeness. Nobody can take that. 